Yes. The global virtual reality market size was valued at how much you think? Right now? In 2020. 16 Whoa. billion. 15.81 billion. Whoa. It is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate, which is known as a CAGR, of 18% from 2021 to 2028. Virtual reality is a digitally created experience where a three-dimensional environment is simulated with the real world. Technology offers an immersive experience to the viewers <laughs> with the help of VR devices such as headsets or glasses, gloves, and body suits. The technology has brought a transformation in gaming and entertainment industries by allowing users to experience immersion in highly virtual realm. There's something I forgot to bring up that is very, very interesting, Panjen. We've talked about it before. Um, but what, 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 what? It is entertainment based, right? Universal Music Group is launching a NFT super group of musicians. They're launching a they're launching a band of of Bored Ape Yacht Club NFTs. Huh. They bought four Bored Ape Yacht Bored Apes Universal Music um, through pump the price. Through their 1022 PM label, which I didn't know of. Apparently, it's their, their future oriented label. They announced the formation of Kingship, an NFT music group made of characters from Uber successful NFT project, the Bored Ape Yacht Club. Huh. 1022 PM founder Celine Joshua formed the group and engineered the first ever exclusive agreement to create a megaverse group. A megaverse? All right, wording. Kingship will be guided and developed through the creation of mu original music, NFTs, metaverse activations, and community-based projects. The group represents a shift in the new generation of artists, fan, and community engagement. 10.22 p.m. Might want to look into what that is, because I didn't hear about it before I heard this news. Um, 10.22 p.m. is a next-gen Web3 label that discovers and develops artists, IP, brands, and digital creators today. They announced the formation of Kingship. Bored Apes making music. Did that just, like, inflate the price even more? Or Probably. They probably are. What are they around? Two million? Well, two million? Holy shit. I'm holding on some bullshit NFTs for sure. Yeah, I got I got a cool project that I'll invite you to that. You know, I'm not a very big NFT speculation guy. I did one, didn't pan out. Kind of cool art. Uh, you know, expectations are always the lowest they've ever been, especially in NFTs. Uh, this project's interesting, man. It's called Zoids. So I'll invite you, invite you to the Discord. But uh, they have nice infrastructure, good aesthetics, and a nice little... Uh, it's very good to have a succinct vision from founders and leaders of any project and a succinct ethos that can permeate through a community. Uh, and they, they somehow gravitated me towards that. Uh, I was funneled through the project via a partnership with an Instagram channel called Metaverse. And the second E is of the three. And I knew that from a man called Elliot, who does the, the dunk uh page on instagram and i was on that the metaverse instagram page for like two days and they're like yeah we're doing ads with these people but there's three posts and it's like we're very selective of what of how we decide who we want to partner with so off top there's already like an ethos in your your mind about what's going on i hop in and these little duders dude these are some cats from hawaii some like 30 year olds they love crystals and, and whatnot and like earth uh, innovation. But uh, having an overarching theme emotionally for a project and getting people involved. Get, get your own lingo in a community. Get your own, uh, get your incentives via community helping works as well. Uh, and they got some cool 